Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review this Matus Outdoor Antenna. It has a built-in amplifier, rotator, and claims a whopping 150 mile range. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that way you receive a notification whenever I post a new video. So if you think you've seen this antenna model before, you have. It's the same one mass produced in China and marketed under dozens of different brands. It's actually the best selling outdoor antenna on Amazon for a reason that I'll explain a bit later in this video. The first thing I want to mention about this antenna is the very poor build quality. It's mostly made of plastic and even the back reflectors are kept up by, well, barely kept up by plastic. As far as the design goes, it does have a VHF element here designed for RF channels 7 through 13. There goes that reflector again. And some UHF elements here designed for RF channels 14 and above, but likely both with limited gain. One of the more unique features about this antenna is the built-in rotator that lets you adjust the antenna right from the inside of your own house using a control box. However, I found this usually isn't necessary as the majority of TV stations in most areas broadcast from one main direction. The 150 mile range claim on this antenna is a huge red flag. TV signals tend to disappear over the horizon between 70 to 80 miles from the broadcast towers due to the curvature of the Earth, so an antenna that claims anything beyond 100 mile range is likely junk. To be clear, you should not buy an antenna based solely on the range claim, but rather how it's designed. A larger antenna will typically perform much better than a smaller antenna, no matter what the range claim is. So how well does this antenna work? I tested it out in the same location as a bunch of other outdoor antennas for an accurate comparison. Here are the results from the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. This antenna was not able to pick up KYW, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30. Most antennas can easily pick up this TV station with signal levels around 70%. The signal on WCAU, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was significantly lower on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out with major dropouts. This antenna wasn't able to pick up WPHL on UHF channel 17, WTXF on UHF channel 31, or WHYY on VHF channel 13. So what happened here? Why did this antenna struggle to receive TV stations that nearly every other antenna I tested out easily picked up? Most likely, the internal preamplifier built into this antenna was bad right outside of the box. It's a common issue with this model and the main reason why I do not recommend it. You see, when the internal preamplifier on this antenna fails, signals aren't really passed through the coax cable and you basically lose all TV reception. Even when the preamplifier worked on a previous version of this antenna I tested out on the YouTube channel, the signal levels weren't that high. Any of you who have this antenna or know someone who has it, it's basically a ticking time bomb about to fail. But wait, if this antenna is a piece of junk, then why is it the most selling model on Amazon with thousands of five star reviews? It's a direct result of the Amazon search algorithm being manipulated through fake and paid reviews by Chinese companies. I actually made a video on this topic in the past with proof that it's happening, but received no response from Amazon when I reached out for comment. Rest assured that you can use my YouTube channel as a resource to research antennas. I have dozens of reviews and will tell you straight up whether the antenna is decent or not and what areas it would work best in. I also offer an antenna recommendation service on my website at antennamanpa.com for those of you who want to get the best reception possible and truly cut the cord. I can tell you I would never recommend this antenna in a million years. Now it's smashing time. I 
I don't even weigh that much, folks. Do not buy this antenna. It's junk. Stick with a reputable US-based antenna company like Channel Master, WineGuard, RCA, Antennas Direct, or Televis. Use my YouTube channel as a resource to research antennas or sign up for an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button this video and you can also click the thanks button. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, Feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description below. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.